Two at ten, is it murder or self-defense? A valley woman sits behind bars tonight for killing her boyfriend, but what led up to the shooting even has the prosecutor cutting her a break. ABC 15's Elizabeth Irwin is live at the Fourth Avenue jail tonight. And Elizabeth, certainly an unusual case here. It sure is, Katie. The woman that was taken here to the Fourth Avenue jail after she admitted to shooting her boyfriend, but she told investigators he was beating her up and that the gun wasn't supposed to go off. Now she's charged in his death. 24 year old Ashley Ide stands before a judge accused of manslaughter. But if you take a closer look at her face, you can see there's more to this story. Ms. Ide was involved in a domestic violence uh, incident with her. Boyfriend. It's not often you hear a prosecutor speak up during a suspect's initial court appearance and say something that could benefit the accused. The state believes that, uh, as the police have indicated, that there are issues as to, as to whether the shooting was unlawful, accidental, or justified. According to police, Ida and her boyfriend were drunk and fighting when she shot him in the back of the neck. Ida said she was afraid for her life and didn't mean to shoot. She told investigators the boyfriend had been abusing her. The bruises on her face, an indication of what happened before the gun went off. She said she didn't turn him in because he was on probation and she didn't want him to go back to prison. He appears to have a violent history. We did some digging. Fernando Ruelas has quite the rap sheet. He's got convictions for aggravated assault, DUI, threat and intimidation. If she believed that she was going to be the victim of an aggravated assault, um, causing serious physical injury, that could be a justification for a use of force or even a use of deadly force. Now, Ida is no angel herself. She has drinking while driving and a robbery conviction on her record. It's up to the county attorney's office what happens next, and we're told they haven't gotten the case just yet. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out for sure. Thank you, Elizabeth.